we're sure that to uh, see uh, these guys again, the Northern Pikes, that is. Uh, about 10 years ago, they were riding an incredible wave of success. They had a string of hit singles and they had gold albums and they had five nominations at the uh, Junos in 1990. And then like uh, most uh, rock and roll bands, the uh, they disbanded. And then they went their separate ways, but now they don't seem to be able to uh, live without each other and they've reunited. I'm just guessing. Uh, they've reunited for this uh, Cross Canada tour and they're in uh, Vancouver for a few days and then they're going to uh, Alberta and they're going to play a brand new song. And uh, from the Saskatoon Quartet, it's called A Beautiful Summer and it can be found on this compilation of hits and assorted secrets and then we'll talk and I'm getting out of here. Uh, two of the Northern Pikes have joined me, Jay Semko and Brian Podva, and uh, they are part of the recently reunited uh, Northern Pikes. That's nice, because you vanished. Yeah. We Where'd did. you go? Who wants to talk? Jay, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Uh, I guess it was June of 93 was the last time we actually played together. Uh, we mixed our live album and then sort of went our separate ways. I guess in the meantime, we did a variety of things. Brian ended up working as president of A&R. <laughs> well, he was close to the president. No, 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 no. no, no. What were you? What, do you phone each other or tell yeah. each other what you're I was doing? related to the president. No, I was, uh, <laughs> for a short Just period of time. Just punch him in the head, because he's obviously too difficult to work with. <laughs> That's right. What were you doing? I was doing A&R, but uh, artist and repertoire. Yes. Like a talent scout. And, um, yeah, so I did. A talent scout? Mm -hmm. Gotta dance. <laughs> How am I doing? Very Next. good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks Let's so talk much. after, Vicky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we, what do you mean you recorded your last album and then you went your separate ways? When you record an album, aren't you obligated in some way to, to, do, to tour it, to back it up? To, well, uh, we did. Um, I mean, not as, uh, not as uh, uh, thoroughly po possibly as the previous three records. Right. But um, we d I think we did... Uh, uh, qualify, you know, doing proper promotion and touring for it. But we were just exhausted. I think that was really the, you know. But you were 25 or something. How exhausted could you be? Um, it was 10 years of kind of NFA living, I think. I think that sort of took its toll. Everyone just sort of, you know, fix address. dress. Oh, no fix address. dress, sorry. Yeah, every, we were just continually on the road or in the studio or back on the road, and I think everyone just wanted a rest. We were getting a little tired of each other, too. And as Don uh, eloquently put it, I think he seems to think that we broke up the to drummer. save, yes, our drummer, to save, uh, we broke up to save our, our friendships. Yeah. I, I Who fought the most? Wait, was he just a pain? <laughs> well, occasionally, but I, yeah. Moody I think boy. I was too. I think everybody was. I mean, yeah. you know, it's I just know. When, when you live with, when you're that close I together, know. it's it's like you're too close. After a while, we sort of needed a break from each other, and it ended up being almost seven years. Yes, and did, we, did you speak to each other? Did you have a dinner once in a while, or was it, it like you never mm -hmm. existed? We were all living in separate cities for a while, and um, the Pikes has been sort of a continual business. We've had to sort of address certain issues over the years, so there's been that kind of. Uh, but no, literally, quite literally, oh, two weeks ago, we were all in the same room for the first time in six years. So it was, that mean, was sort of surreal. It was really kind of bizarre, actually. You have had the one, just the one rehearsal before you came on my no, show? Four. Four. Oh, you've had <laughs> four and five shows, Vicky. It's unbelievable, huh? Yeah, I came so back So the shows quick, actually, became right? the rehearsals? <laughs> we had four pretty good long days before we actually played yeah. it in front of people. Like going to bed at nine years just ringing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand this. Exactly, you know, we left the TV on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that sort of. But no, and then and then we played uh, we played how many shows? Five, I think, so far, or six or something. Six. They've been all great. They've been just like amazing. Rooms full of love, packed, sold out. Everyone singing uh, every note. All every, the words. Yeah, they know just, everything. It's, it's creepy. It's it, it's. Um, like I'm a time amazed warp. actually how 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 uh, people have stuck with us and yeah, it's been it's been, uh, it's been surprising. an emotional experience actually. And flattering actually. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Really so what happened that uh, day? Whose decision was it to try and do this? Who phoned who first? Ma first. I, you know what? I think we'd have to give credit to Don. Okay. Because he was the one uh, um, speaking with the label about the idea of a hits record. And they finally succumbed and went, all right, we'll do this. And then uh, touring it, following up, seemed like uh, the right thing to do. It seemed like a fun thing to do. It was very non-committal. As you mentioned earlier, um, you know, recording a, a, a brand new record of material and, and doing proper promotion and, and touring it, it that's, a, that's a big commitment. That's nine to 12 months. And yeah. this, this, was, this was five or six weeks. And we could, you know, you could either, handle. either run screaming well, from the van or, or we do, could just, too. well, this is it. We all got other lives. And, um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we're going to be uh, having, a, having a ball by the end of this and, and, and feel as though we might have actually some validity to, to, to make a, a record, to, to, to put together a new record. Or we may not. We don't know. It's, 
Yeah, we do. <laughs> I know they're so non-committal here. We'll go across <laughs> Canada and see if we're yeah. all still speaking to each other. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What was it like that when you all got together that two weeks ago? <laughs> two weeks ago, it's hard to believe, isn't it? It was pretty neat, actually. Mm. I where mean, was it? In Saskatoon. Yeah, but where? Uh, at a, a golf course, <laughs> believe it or not. We were rehearsing, in a, a, obviously it's winter in Saskatoon, and uh, yes. golf course is closed, and a clubhouse of a golf course. In the middle of the well, ball so did you prairie, play first? What did you start to do first? Oh, no, I, I was trying to think of that the other day. We might have played, uh, we might have played Beautiful Summer, actually. Well, did we? I don't know. <laughs> I can't even remember. Well, I'm glad you've got this nailed down. Uh, you know, uh, you're, you're, as the uh, weeks carry on and people want to interview you, it might be good if you got your story straight. But it's, right. uh, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, at one stage, look, I have to tell you that um, many years ago, and in fact, it was just about the time that you got signed, I went to interview Richard Branson in London. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was all completely hysterical about signing you guys. And I think it was, no, he was very jumped up. And I didn't know that he had signed a Canadian band. Well, it was Virgin Canada, I guess, but uh, he knew all about you, and I didn't know nothing. <laughs> and he, wow. So he told me that he had signed you and, and how great you were, and you were. And uh, was that a good relationship? With Richard? <laughs> yeah, you and Richard. Do you have a good Richard. day? Oh, yes, yeah, it's yeah. great. Didn't it is he, great. He, he <laughs> did come. Didn't he come and see you? Never. Mm, I don't think so. No, I, I have no idea. Well, we had a great relationship with Virgin, Virgin Music Canada. I mean, it was like... Virgin was a very boutique kind of label at that point. Yes. You know, we knew... I guess I mean, that's why he knew all his products. Well, this is it, you know, and in Canada, there were nine people working in the office, and, and we were pretty much the only act they had at that point, and yeah, it was just, it was a real, you know, easy, tight working relationship. Mm -hmm. um, they gave us a lot of leeway. I mean, Doug Chappelle was the president, and he was, turned out to be a very good friend, ultimately, with us, too, you know, so yeah. it was kind of a cool thing. What have you been doing? What have I been doing? Well, I guess one thing I've done a lot of is television music. I ended up working on the TV show Do South. All the incidental music? Yes. yes. Doing the composing with uh, Jack Lenz and John McCarthy. Oh, yes. And uh, we, I, I guess that took up a good part of the 90s for me. How do you actually do that? Um, I mean, I have a vague idea, but so you have a guy running down, it's not, you can't do da la da la da la anymore. <laughs> well, you're. <And> <laughs> <laughs> I guess to a certain extent, it gets more complicated than that. There's really? There's and time code. And <laughs> There's more of an art to it, is there? Thing. I'm still learning. I'm really, you know, I, for my own part, I basically strum along with the picture as to what looks good to me. And that worked in Due South. So, you know, I guess in addition, done a few other TV things along the way. I put out a solo album, I guess, in 95. And I don't know. You have to be a jack of all trades if you're going to live in the prairies. And I've been sort That's of... That's true. If you're, if you're you going to just be in love with Saskatoon. Which is not a place, bad place to live. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely. You want to move back here? I know you do. <laughs> yeah, well, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right, I do. Anyway, thanks, guys. Thank uh, you. You nice sounded speaking. really uh, wonderful. Thanks. I was very impressed. You oh, know, thank and you. given your, you know, extreme vintage now, I think <laughs> that you're, <laughs> you're holding up well. Okay, Northern Pikes. They'll be back with uh, another song after this. Thank you.